You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hi everyone, welcome back to Retro Recollections. Today we are looking at a little uh, upgrade for my Amiga from uh, boobip.com. It's basically an expansion, an expansion card that goes into the A500, which will upgrade my chip RAM to one meg and also give me potentially up to 1.5 meg of slow RAM. Now this is achieved by a small modification I need to do to the motherboard, soldering um, to a jumper point as well and uh, using a Gary adapter to add more lines of memory, whatever the expression is, to, uh, to the architecture of the, the machine to allow it to see more memory. Uh, and the good thing about this as well is it's also got uh, a coin battery holder and space for a um, real-time clock chip. And that's it, so uh, let's have a look at getting this installed. Let's start by unscrewing the case so that we can get to the parts of the board that we need to deal with. Before flipping the case back over and removing the top, it makes sense to remove my existing expansion card via the trapdoor compartment. Hopefully it will still be useful for something or somebody. My little USB stick in the GoTech drive was causing an obstruction to removing the top of the case. Let's get that out of the way. That's better. Next, we remove the keyboard. Now we can work on the main board. First, we need to remove the Gary chip so that we can install the Gary adapter. My cheap chip puller wasn't doing a great job, so I resorted to carefully using a flathead screwdriver. Be very careful not to bend the pins on the chip and ease it out by alternating sides until the chip is dislodged. Now we can pop the adapter in, making sure the orientation is correct. The pin header needs to face down towards the trapdoor expansion area. Pop Gary back in, making sure he's the right way around. Gary doesn't like being turned around. Let's put the expansion card in now. Careful about applying too much pressure, we don't want to bend anything. It should fit quite snugly in place. Now 
Now we need to cut the connection between the center pad and the lower pad, the one nearest the chip here, on jumper JP2. You can just make out a small link here in the picture. Carefully use a craft knife to sever the connection. I double check to make sure there is continuity, then I'll check again once the cut is performed to make sure I've done it correctly. With the connection severed, now we need to solder one of the jumper cables to the center pad of JP2. I need steadier hands. Add a bit of solder to the pad and tin the wire beforehand and you should be good to go. The other end of the wire connects to pin 1 of jumper J3 on the card. If you, like me, have an A500 you need to short the x tick jumper as opposed to J4 on the card as well. Just move the little jumper connector from one to the other. I add a little bit of electrical tape to keep the wire in place. Now add the main pin header cable. Make sure this is oriented correctly. So take note of which color is on the left on the Gary adapter and make sure that it is also on the left on the pin header module. And that's it. Let's put it back together and give it a test. Okay, so we're gonna give this a test now. It's all back together. And um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do a capture at the same time. So I'm gonna run system info to see if we've got the right amount of chip RAM and the right amount of slow RAM. Let's turn on. Well, it seems to be booting up. That's a good start. There we go, so we've got the uh, flash floppy menu come up right, we'll uh, reboot into system info and see what we can see so far so good here we are so that's working let's see if we've got the right amount of memory that we're expecting Right, so memory. Right, so slow RAM, 1.3. So I'm not sure how it measures it, but it's uh, giving me a one point reading of 1.3, which I suppose is about right. Um, right, let's look. Let's have a look for um, chip memory. And chip memory, one meg. So it it's worked. So this is really really good. I'm really happy with that. Let's see uh, what else um, what else we can see on here. Let's look at this speed. Speed should be about the same, although because we've got a little bit more RAM. Right, so it looks like we are. Let's move out. There it is. Looks like we are equivalent to an A six hundred now, which is about right. And. That's fantastic. I'm really happy with that. That's such a dead easy uh, upgrade to do, giving me all, extra, all of that. So, really, really good. Really happy with that. 
Yeah, so look at that. Free memory, nearly two, two point something, which is what I was expecting. Uh, I think we can uh, run the shell. Avail should give us some information. Yep, so chip memory. Yeah, that's a little bit more accurate. Chip memory at one meg, fast memory at one and a half. So I've got two and about two and a half megs worth of memory now. Next thing will be to get a fast RAM um, expansion. Next upgrade, but for now I'm really happy with that, which means I've got plenty of. Uh, I've got plenty of uh, memory there to start with. So yeah, I'm really happy with this upgrade. It's just the beginning. I'm gonna have to add more things to it, but for now, for a very reasonable price, and all the links will be in the description, you can get this little upgrade for your A500. And obviously if you've got an A500, there's a little, tiny little bit of um, soldering to do, but I'm no expert at soldering. I, I hate soldering stuff and I managed it, cutting a little trace and that's it and then you just install all the, all the cabling and the, the, the card. I'm going to have a look at the um, RTC chip to see whether I've got one that's compatible. That might be uh, the next job and adding add that to the real time clock to it might as well if I've got the, got the equipment. Okay well thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm going to be doing more and more of these Amiga videos because I just, I've fallen back in love with the Amiga after so many years and I'm just happy to have one again and um, I'm going to slowly give it a few little upgrades here and there as I can afford it. So thanks again for, for joining me on this journey. Uh, all, all the links will be in the description including ways to contact me if you want to donate anything like um, hardware, accessories, anything like that. Uh, anything for a project, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it, so um, let me know. And also, if you want to uh, support me in other ways, like Patreon, there's links there. So, um, thanks very much, everybody. Speak to you next time, and take care.